briefly, I, I like to look at the YouTube articles that come up. And there was, um, well, this is really going to be used against me. I just, it just came out. But then David Duke, you know, who is, David Duke has a terrible reputation because uh, he used to be in the Ku Klux Klan and he speaks a lot about the Kazarians. And um, he has a very bad reputation. Being associated with him is not a good thing. He endorsed uh, Donald Trump and the, the left tried to really use it against Donald Trump. Although Donald Trump has nothing to do with David Duke, but David Duke endorsed Donald Trump, so they tried to use it against Donald Trump. Well, I just saw a little blurb. I didn't listen to the video. You know. And he said, um, President Trump yielded to, to Israel and bombed Syria. And I want to tell you that I believe that's true. We have no interest in Syria. Israel has interest in Syria. And he yielded to the, to the Israeli influence in Washington and in the world. So he did it. I love him. I love our president. I'm still behind him, 100%. But I notice, I note, that he has made some concessions to the other side. Now maybe he had to make concessions to the other side. I don't know. I'm told nobody got hurt in the bombing. I hope it's true. He just bombed it. He, bombed it. he told everybody that he was coming, that we were coming. And he bombed an empty airfield. He, he was being bombed from every side. President Trump. He was being attacked from every side. And maybe that was a concession that he made. You know the art of the deal. You have to, you can't have everything your way. He did what he had to do to get some of those Democrats off his back and now they love him. John McCain loves him. They all love him because he bombed Syria. He bombed an empty airfield in Syria. So the question is, Mr. Duke, did he yield to the Israel lobby? Or was he very, very smart to get all those people off of his back so that he could do other things that he's doing? Do you know that there was a decision, a recent decision in the Supreme Court, the first decision of our new justice? It is now illegal in this country to teach Islam in our public schools, which was going on in, in the California and in other states that were actually teaching Islam to the children. It is now illegal to do that. And our new justice, Gorsuch, Justice Gorsuch, I'm probably pronouncing his name wrong, voted against that practice in our schools. So he, he may, maybe, you know, maybe he was influenced by the Israeli lobby. I don't know, you know, his son-in-law and his daughter. Or, or maybe it was just a very smart move to get them off of his back. Because now they love him. Bill Crystal loves him. The truth is the truth is the truth is the truth. I'm still with him. I still say he's God's man. 